Well, good early morning. We're ready for the last leg of power tour. We're gonna to take a detour today. We're gonna to go see the barn from Days of Thunder. I, I'm way more excited to go see this barn than I should be, but that's what we're gonna go do. Um, it's earlier than we're gonna leave, but there's always a few people out prepping like me. I'm, I'm ready to go. I don't like to. I don't like to be late. So uh, I'm gonna walk through part of this parking lot right quick with y'all, and then I'm gonna go in and have breakfast, and hopefully we're on the road in you know 10, 15, 30 minutes, whatever. So uh, yeah, let's take a look and see what uh, is on the side of the hotel here. This is our gang. To the ZL1 there, that's all us. And of course, these first four. Note, mine's pulled in straight because you know, reverse wasn't with me when I parked it last night. And then Don's Camaro. That thing's done really well for him. I, I think he's, uh, he's done great in that car. V8 car runs great. I know y'all, if you've been watching, you've seen uh, you've seen some chemical reactions from the rear tires, or no physical reaction. I don't know. We burn them off. These fellas had a couple of really clean fourth gens, and their Tennessee Valley Camaro Club. These people are in my back door, so I may. Uh, I may see if I can find them on Facebook when we get back. It's a good looking 67. The uh, Cadillac limos here. That thing is super sweet. 69 Camaro. We've seen it. <clears throat> Morning, Adam. Hey. The Roadmaster, I believe, is us. But I wanted to, this is what I really wanted to show you. Y'all have seen a lot of Falcons from me. This thing is sweet. Um, it's actually got a Coyote engine in it and a full interior. Well, not a full interior, but a dash and whatever out of a uh, late model Mustang, six speed, roll cage. He pushed the seat back in the car, extended the dash back. It, the pinstriping on the car is phenomenal. So I don't know who his striper was. He told me, oh, here's his signature. But it is it's so good. He said he built his own carbon fiber wing for it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she's super sweet. It's got side exit exhaust. Yeah, she's a beauty. We'll finish the row out down here. Also two of us. This uh, yellow Camaro, whew, the color is right. Uh, my first Camaro, that's the color I painted it. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm very partial to a yellow second gen Camaro, and I, I love this one. It is very, very nice. Well, I'll catch y'all when we uh, get ready to head out.
made it out here to Dell Earnhardt Inc. Uh, not much to see or anything, but it's just we're just paying homage. But we're gonna get our pictures taken and head on out. Back to the road. Well, we uh, stopped and got fuel. We're getting ready to leave, but then Brian has developed a fuel leak. So he's gonna work on that and then we'll head back out, I guess. But it's leaking pretty aggressively. <laughs> so he's got him a nice little puddle going. Well, they're working on it. They got it cleaned up. Fortunately, there was an advanced auto parts right there. Uh, they've got some JB Weld, I think, or whatever for gas tank repair. Permatex gasket maker. So they're going to try to seal it up. We're going to hit the road again, maybe. Hopefully this works. I got faith in you, Brian. Brian's got him a fan under there to help accelerate the drying process. We're going to do another coat or two. Hopefully this will work. It should. Brian's putting a second coat on. I believe we've got it. We'll see here in a minute. We made it out to the barn. Uh, it's super cool to me. So we're gonna get a picture here and uh, I'll insert the picture that we take of my car in front of the barn. Uh, the barn ha it sustained quite a bit of wind damage in a recent storm. I, I don't even know how much longer it'll be standing. So I'm happy to be here today and actually get to do this today. So yeah, what an experience. Brian's all dry and he's good to go. We was only across the street, so he just came over to meet us.
we have created a terrible sound don't know what it is yet uh kind of sounds like a rod maybe i don't know um but it, it also may be clutch related i just can't tell so we're at a gas station we're gonna fire it up i'm just gonna take take a listen but yeah i don't know it's maybe the end of our tour right here was almost home good so after some uh, investigation we believe that the uh, standoff for the March performance kit it, yeah come here and you can see this it's uh, what's that bottom bully down there see how it's flexing oh when I take the tension off of it that bolt belt backed out of the crank so I'm gonna take now. all this down and we'll try to tighten it up maybe maybe, maybe one the more day's time. not over maybe one more time there we go This is the man that lent us the tools and we gave him a sticker. Marlon Stevens. Marlon Stevens. Thank you, sir. Hey, you're welcome. Have a good one, guys. You too. All right. power tour at its finest. People helping people. All right, everybody. We put, we took all this apart. We put a bolt on the end of the, or a nut, a nut on the end of the bolt. We tightened it all down. It seems like it's going to be okay. At the very least, it'll get us home. We may get some. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's a picture. Oh, yeah. We got it all together. We're going to bump it a couple times, and uh, then we're going to start and see what it sounds like. Well, good. Well, it slung a belt. I didn't get it locked in there in place, so I'm going to pull it back apart, and we'll try again. There you go, Dave. Borrowed a socket from uh, the guys from Roadkill. They're over there somewhere. We're gonna take it back apart so we can fix it. See what happens. Watch it. Bye. Go ahead. Sorry. Thank you. All right, we're gonna try this again. Hopefully with better results. Yes, we're back in business. A little wobbly, but that'll get us there. Something, something garage made it. Thumbs up, man. I hope you uh, watch the video. I'm very proud that you made it in your uh, in your Torino. Hope maybe I'll catch him in here. If I do, I'll talk to him. It's official. We got our black. We made it. It is super cool being down in the pits. While nobody's here, you can really see how high the embankment is. Man, it's a short track. No wonder it's so fast.
crowd full of victors. Well, we made it and we've gotten our stuff. We're gonna get out of here. Um, I'll, I'll do an outro at the house because we still got like another two hours of driving. Hopefully that goes well and I'll hit y'all then. I want y'all to see the new Bucky's. This is gonna be the largest one outside of Texas for now. It's in Sevierville at the 407 exit. Uh, I just thought y'all might think that was cool. It's huge, it's not even open yet. All right, we're on our way home. Did it, we made it, we made it, we made it. This car had eluded me trying to get it on the power tour, but we made it. Uh, you know, this was its third power tour it was supposed to make, but it did it. Uh, we did. We overheated twice. No, uh, overheated might be an extension of that word. But um, if you're curious what I think that is, I'm almost positive. After filling the fans in front for the radiator, it's just not moving enough air. So we'll upgrade the fans. It'll be fine. It's got a four-core aluminum radiator in it now. Just it's not pushing enough air across them when you're sitting still. Well, as long as you're in motion, it does fine. So, no big deal. Also, both days, it was like 85 or 87 degrees. It was hot. So, uh, I'm not really upset about that at all. Um, if you're confused about what happened with the... Uh, when I broke down at the gas station, the last thing that happened, the what had happened was the bolt for the crank had backed off a little bit. And there's a standoff piece... on the harmonic balancer basically there's teeth in that standoff that go in there and it had started rotating and it was beaten against the uh, harmonic balancer probably not good for the motor but nonetheless we got that tightened back up i put a actually troy had a small nut i don't know what it was off of we slid it on there to uh, get a little spacer on it because we were concerned that possibly the bolt was too long and it was bottoming out. So anyways, we got it back together. I was really devastated, actually. I didn't think we were going to make it. Uh, I didn't know how much farther we had exactly to go. Turns out it was only about another 30 minutes worth of driving. It wasn't far. But I thought I was done, and I was very upset about it at the time. But, you know, it's in true Power Tour fashion... People came through. I didn't have a 24 millimeter socket. We borrowed that. We borrowed a, uh, an extension. Um, you know, if it wasn't for being able to borrow those two things, I don't know that we'd have got it done because I didn't have anything for it. But hey, we got it done and got it to uh, got it on to Bristol. For the people that are curious, how many miles we did exactly? I'm not exactly sure because when I drove it in, I just parked it. I was exhausted. Got my uh, bag out and I was done. I actually, it's been like three days, so or two days. I don't even know what the day is. So uh, let's check it out and see how many miles. So fourteen sixty four. We had two fifty when we left, so twelve hundred and fourteen miles. That ain't bad. Well, I am so very proud of how well this car did. It wasn't perfect. It had backfiring issues, and it overheated a little bit, blah, blah, blah. Stuff happens. But for a car that had been a far, as far apart as this one had, that's pretty good. Also, it just goes to show your car didn't have to be perfect just to get it out and enjoy it. And boy, did I enjoy this car. I mean, we had a fantastic time. So uh, I, I'd like to just, you know, also thank everyone for all the support that y'all have been pouring out on me. I really appreciate that channel's been growing really well uh do me a favor if you're watching and you thought this content was pretty good you made it this far it's probably time to hit the subscribe button i'd appreciate that and uh thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next video